In the last video, you were introduced to the two main types of persistent CHI, diffuse and focal. We now know that diffuse CHI affects all of the beta cells throughout the entire pancreas, but what about focal? Actually, focal CHI affects just a single region of beta cells in the pancreas. In addition, the way in which the two forms are passed from parent to child also differs. Unlike the diffuse form, the inheritance of focal CHI is parent-specific. This means that in each case of focal CHI, mothers and fathers play specific roles. These roles are fixed and do not swap between genders. The inheritance of focal CHI occurs in two distinct events. Firstly, the dad passes on a faulty ABCC8 or KCNJ11 gene. Problems with these genes are usually associated with a recessive inheritance. So as we know from the last video, if mum had normal copies of the gene, she would be able to compensate for this and the child would have a 50-50 chance of being a carrier of CHI, like his or her father. But in focal CHI, a second event occurs involving the maternal chromosomes. Chromosomes are thread-like structures which carry our genetic information. Unfortunately, in this second event, the part of the mother's chromosome which would normally compensate for the dad's affected region is lost. This means that the child will definitely have CHI. This loss of compensation, known as loss of heterozygosity, disrupts the balance of genes which normally control how our beta cells grow and survive. In focal CHI, the part of the maternal chromosome that is lost contains genes which normally help to slow down growth. Without these, it means that the growth-promoting genes in the father's chromosome can become overactive. This explains why the focal region in the pancreas can grow, although usually it remains very small in size. This is a confusing concept to get to grips with, but hopefully this video has helped you to do so. However, if you do still have any unanswered questions, please don't hesitate to contact your local CHI care provider. Please see the final video in the series to understand the effects of hypoglycemia in CHI.